All right, welcome, 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 guys, to another session of Sunday Salps. I'm your host, Jacob, and I'm accompanied by two of the officials with me. We've got Lit Cap Nate. How we doing, bro? All good, my bro. All good. Happy to hear, happy to hear. And we also have Pastor Pips. Josh, how we doing, my bro? You blessed? I'm blessed, bro. Feeling recharged, ready for the week ahead. Sounds good. Perfect, perfect, man. So, yeah, we're going to be bringing you another forecast of things to look out for for the week on the charts. Obviously, before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our website uh, for those trying to get started on a trading journey with us or you're trying to join our community via the Discord, please check out litcapital.co.uk, okay? Uh, we are in the midst of actually uh, building a new website as well, so look out for that in the weeks to come. Um, um, yeah, before we get into it, as usual, let's head over to the economic calendar and see what fundamental news we have for the week ahead. So... Uh, going into Monday, nothing really stands out. As you can see, we have no real high impact data at all. Uh, we've got some unemployment data for uh, Japan. So it could have a, a minute effect as the markets open. Um, and then going into Tuesday, uh, again, nothing really sticking out here. We've got some consumer conf confidence coming out of uh, US uh, the US data, excuse me. Um, so we'll see what that is like. Uh, going into Wednesday, we've got some PMI for um, China. So that is quite high impact because obviously China is one of the biggest manufacturers. Uh, well, not one of, they are the biggest manufacturer in the world. So we'll see how that impacts the charts for sure. Uh, we have some CPI coming out of the euro as well as some unemployment change in Germany. Uh, so a lot of U euro data coming out. We have GDP for the pound. Okay, see what the UK, um, how they've been doing since Q4 going into Q1. We'll see what that's like. Uh, President Biden, uh, he's got a speech as well on Wednesday afternoon. So Wednesday's looking good. Thursday, again, nothing really happening, but it is the end of the month going into the new month. So definitely be wary of that uh, for this week, for sure. You know, going into midweek, going into uh, the end of it, we could see a slowdown as we get the uh, closures of those monthly candles and things of such. Then Thursday, uh, we got some trade balance for the Aussie. Um, and we also have some PMI data coming out from the Euro um, countries. We've got Italy, France, Germany, PMI for UK. Um, we also have some jobless claims for US as well, as well as building permits. So going into it kind of strong on Thursday, start the new month. And then finish off, we have NFP. So. Friday, um, I mean, not Friday, uh, March, actually, the NFP was quite great. So we, we'll see if we can get a carry on for that going into the start of April for sure. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to head over to the charts now. I'm going to start with US 30. Um, and I'm looking at this setup for a potential reversal to, a, to, to see a bit more of a downside push, um, as I'm not quite uh, satisfied with the retracement that we've got uh, from this daily swing area itself. Uh, we can definitely see lower prices, I believe, anyway, uh, from this swing point here and here. We haven't really received, we haven't even got 50%. So I do think we, we are in a line to potentially get a counter trend short reversal. So what I've kind of realized going into um, the end of Friday's session to close, um, I actually had, um, I got alerted to some equal highs being taken out and actually pushed to the area. We could potentially get a reversal from but because it was so late going into the end of Friday, I didn't really want to um, enter it. So we're going to see how this market opens for sure um, and see if we can potentially get a counter trend trade to give us that proper retrieve um, that is necessary. So this will be thrown in the Discord. Uh, for those that are not in the community already and you want community access to our chart setups, um, then, then head over to our website now and get access. Uh, also, we're going to show you guys US oil. So US oil was a tricky customer last week, but nonetheless, we did give out some setups on it. Um, and we have been seeing higher prices, especially off of our institutional level. Uh, we saw two bounces with it actually uh, rising, but we could potentially see, I believe, uh, what I was looking for in terms of a retracement. We didn't quite get that, so I'm just gonna get rid of that for you. Um, but I do think off of this breaker candle, we could potentially see um, a push up to an area around $64. That is actually the swing that I'm looking for in order to maybe continue a uh, retracement lower. But I would like to see higher prices first. So 
Uh, Friday, we caught some great buyers on this. So we would, we'd like to just see it rise and, and take out some of the equal highs and also mitigate out of this candle. So this looks pretty good to me. It just depends on how far down uh, it wants to retrace, if at all we get any retracement, because it was all one-way traffic uh, the last couple of days of, of the week um, without any retracement. So yes, this is looking good. I think once we get it, this could be a potential swing trade as well. So we'll see how how... Um, it unfolds. Last pair I got for you guys is GBPUSD. Again, we had a nice setup off of the uh, daily candle here where it's kind of retraced. Um, I do want to see higher prices, but I am aware that we could potentially see a push um, and a retracement back down off of this daily candle here. Um, it hasn't quite got there yet. I do have an alert set for it. So I just want to see as as and as when it gets there, we had such one-way traffic um, most of the week last week, and we had a bit of a fight back. But as and when we get there, we could see some mitigation to then head back lower as well. So potentially we could get another buy on this as overall, I would like to see price head towards these equal highs in order to wipe them out. Um, then potentially getting a sell from higher up. So that is kind of what I've got for GBP USD. Um, but nonetheless, I'm still we are still in this trade. Um, but we, you know, we have to be conscious of, of pullbacks happening as well. So that is kind of what I want to see start out for the week. Um, I, I do know that DX, DXY, excuse me, has been quite strong as well. Um, so if it does uh, maintain or gain strength or lose strength, that's going to have an effect on this pair as well. So those are the three that I'm uh, looking for going into the start of the week. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Again, these will all be posted in the Discord setup. Uh, chart section so if you're not in there get access now Nate, over to you bro all right amazing amazing thank you bro i'm just going to share my screen with you guys right now you should be able to see my screen about now you see my screen yeah all good bro yeah all right, amazing so What's up, guys? I'm going to be taking you guys through the infamous AUDJPY, um, which actually gave us a beautiful move this week, which I'll discuss with you guys very shortly. However, just before I do, I just want to walk you guys through what I'm looking at currently. So, as you can see, obviously starting off on the weekly, we are actually bullish, right? Um, we had this high over here that was actually breached and, and obviously taken care of. And obviously now we've continued moving to the upside. You can see a bit of a clearer picture of that on the daily with a series of higher highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, and so on and so forth. Now, um, what I'm personally looking for is for price to actually take out this high over here. However, I am aware of this daily institutional candle that we have actually formed. We actually, like I said earlier, did actually give this trade out um, earlier in the week. I believe it was Wednesday. Um, off of the three hour which again i'll show you very shortly but again i want you guys to realize that i'm actually looking at you know us taking out the highs as opposed to actually reacting out of this candle which we may do of course but that's mainly my area for the reason being that like i said earlier we are in a bullish trend and obviously all of the highs um subsequent to where we are now have actually been taken up an example here example here and so on and so forth so i actually, actually am waiting for price to take out this higher now coming down to the eight hour um if we do actually pull back out of this candle you know to make a move down this is going to be the candle over here this eight hour institutional candle that i'm actually going to be looking for you know another buy if again if we do come down to this area down here so i just want to very quickly show you guys the area that we actually played from um this week so sort of coming down to the three hour. So this was the candle that we were actually playing out of. So we had the institutional candle here um, and obviously the imbalance on top price did actually come down and reacts, you know, perfectly off of this, um, literally to the T. So obviously after that, as you can see, we had the amazing move to the upside. So like I said earlier, I'm waiting for us to take out this high, which will give us a target of 282 pips. So that's basically what we were looking for. Um, just before I do pass on, I want to emphasize, if we haven't already, um, 
look at the Discord. This trade was actually given out inside of the Discord, and a lot of people within our community actually did, did eat off of it. So I would encourage you massively to once again have a look at the Discord. But without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Josh so he can round up the call for us. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my bro. Uh, great trade, by the way, uh, over there, Nathan. So first things first, uh, my first pair is going to be on Euro MZD. Um, looking at your ends of D, I'm going to say something a little bit controversial, which is, you know, I understand, you know, how strong ends of D and the Aussie have been uh, throughout this pandemic, really. But I do believe that we can see some um, weakness for those uh, currencies. So we should see, you know, your ends of D continue to push up higher once we've seen this imbalance be filled on the daily um, picture. OK, so we've got a very long way to come down. OK, um, I did give out a short on your ends of D in the um, discord. OK, in our community. However, we got tapped out of break even. OK, <laughs> very, very frustrating. But we did see prices continue to come down uh, towards the closure of um, the week. So realistically, once price opens up, once the market warms up, OK, I will be looking at this one hour candle for a potential mitigation, just a lower, low, a lower high and a continuation to the uh, to the downside, um, just on a, a lower time frame picture. However, you know, prices realistically should come down lower and fill the rest of this remaining imbalance. Okay. Now, my second pair is going to be on GBP AUD. Now, looking at this pair um, from the weekly perspective, okay, um, I really like to see prices head up to this weekly candle up top here. Okay. Um, right now, we are seeing high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows on the weekly. Okay, so we are still seeing the Aussie weakness and some pound strength. Okay, quite similar to your ends of D. I would like to see this pair uh, continue to push. Okay, looking at the daily picture, if I actually go to uh, right here. Okay, cool. Looking at the daily picture, I am looking at this daily candle for prices to potentially come down to you and retrace down to. As we look at the weekly uh, picture, we have actually closed above our previous high and made a new high high. Okay, we have mitigated out of this daily candle here. However, I would still like to see prices continue to push up higher um, for the time being. Okay, so coming down lower, okay, into the four hour picture, we do have this four hour candle where prices can react out of and, and continue from there. But in terms of a swing perspective, okay, we just have not retraced deep enough as of yet. So we'll definitely like to see prices come down near around my 62% before potentially look to go long on GBP AUD. And yes, guys, um, with that being said, that is all of our pairs. This is our um, weekly market outlook. Okay. Thank you for watching. And guys, about 79% of you are unsubscribed. Please hit that bell notification. Okay. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all of that. Okay. You know the vibes. It's lit side. Remember, every, every day, day is money day. day. Peace. Peace.